Hey everybody, this is Paul. In the last tutorial, we just uh, finished coding the private section for the stack class interface. So now we're going to go ahead and do uh, the public section. So the public section is just going to consist of a bunch of function prototypes that we will define in a stack.cpp file. So the first function prototype is going to not have a return type, so we're just going to type void since it's not returning anything and we're going to name this push and push is a standard name that we use when we're talking about putting an item on top of a stack so what our push function is going to do is it's going to take in two arguments so it's going to take a string and we might as well call that name and it's going to take an integer and we're going to go ahead and call that value and so basically what it's going to do is we're going to pass in some name we're going to pass in some value when we call the function push and then push is going to create a new item and then it's going to store that name and that value into the item that it just created and then it's going to place that item on top of the stack so that's what our push function is going to do the next one is going to be the pop function and that's also going to be a void return type and what the pop function is going to do is it's just going to pop an item off the stack so it's going to take an item off the stack and then it will just make sure that the stack pointer is pointing to the new top so that's what pop is going to do and the next one we're going to do once again is a void return type and we're going to call that one read item and what we're going to do with read item is we're simply just going to have it display the contents of some item and the way we're going to do that is we're going to pass in an item pointer and we might as well call that r for read and so what we're going to do is we're going to pass in this pointer r and r is going to basically just be pointing at some item and then our function will kind of look at whatever R is pointing to and then it will just kind of display the results it will display whatever is in the name and the value section of that item so that's what read item is going to do and then the next one we're going to do is we're just going to do a print function and what print is going to do is it's just going to print the current contents of the stack so that's all the print function is going to do so then we just need two more function prototypes and we're going to basically have those be the constructor and we do that by just typing in the class name it doesn't need any return type and then the opening closing curly um, or those, these aren't curly braces sorry the opening closing parentheses and uh, the semicolon so that's how you create uh, uh, the uh, prototype for the constructor and then the deconstructor is just going to be the same thing but with a tilde in front and so what's going to happen here is when our main program creates a new stack object it's basically going to call the um, constructor right here to um, kind of set up that object for us and the deconstructor is going to be called when our stack object is destroyed so this one's going to be called when our stack object is created. This one will be called when our stack object is destroyed, basically when our program ends. So that's what's going to happen with all of these function prototypes. So anyway, stay tuned for the next few tutorials where I will be defining these functions in the stack.cpp file. So thanks for watching. You guys have an excellent day. We'll see you guys in the next tutorial. And if you haven't already, don't forget to subscribe.